Today I want to show you how to check the accuracy of your laser level. This happens to be my personal laser level. I am not a paid sponsor by this company. Uh, it's by a company called Pacific Laser Systems. Uh, this is the 180 model. Uh, you can get it with the red laser or the green laser. The green is going to be a little bit better for people who are colorblind to see. So I'm going to show you how to check <laughs> how accurate your laser level is. And then that way you're going to have the confidence when you go into a job of, yep, this is how accurate my laser level is. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. So first thing you're going to need is a big open wall or a big open space. Now, on average, our biggest door is going to be 16 feet or less. So I want to find how accurate my laser level is within that 16 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and start on one end, mark that, and then I'm going to go 16 feet over, mark that, and I'm going to show you how, and then we'll check how accurate our laser level is within that 16 feet. So let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start over here. I kind of already know my, know my measurements. So over there, and then we'll go ahead and put our other piece of tape over here. Now, you do not have to use tape. Since this is our facility where we do a lot of things, um, you can just take a pencil and draw a pencil line on your wall, but I don't want to do that here because I don't want people to get upset with me. So let's go ahead. Now we're going to need our tripod. You will need a tripod, tripod to do this. So let's get that set up. So you will need a tripod that has a adjustable stand. And this one has a quick release with a quarter by 20 thread that fits on the bottom of that. So these tripods are relatively inexpensive. I'm sure you can get one. I've seen them as low as $10. But we're going to go ahead and mount it on our tripod just like that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we moved our tripod with the laser to the first mark. So make sure it's straight. I'm about four feet away. We're going to go ahead and turn on our laser level. And we'll go ahead and you can take a pencil or a piece of tape and you're going to want to go to the very bottom here and then you're going to take another piece of tape and you can do the same thing on the other side with the laser still here okay now we're on the other end and you notice or you may have noticed that the laser is not as bright as the other side because we are after all 16 feet away so we're going to go ahead and line that tape up just to the very bottom there just like that and you can see that that laser is just barely on the top of that tape. Okay, now that we have our tape on both sides, now it's time to take the laser level and move it all the way over here. Okay, we'll go ahead and bring the laser here. On this side now, we're gonna line it up with this with the same distance. And by the way, I think I forgot to mention that this is also a self-leveling laser, so no matter what angle you go, it'll always go to level. It, there's a point where it will turn off, but you get the idea. So we're gonna go ahead and line up the laser to this light now, or to this line. Now I'm gonna adjust the tripod down to bring the laser down so the bottom of the laser beam matches the top of the tape. Okay, now we'll crank it down. Go ahead and move it down. Just like that. Okay, our laser level is 16 feet away. And now you can see that the laser line is down here. So now we've eliminated the floor being at a level by moving the tripod and lining these two up. So my laser level at 16 feet is accurate within maybe 330 seconds of an inch at 16 feet. So when I put that laser level, if I put it directly between the 16 foot at eight foot. So my laser level at eight feet is gonna be a fat 30 second of an inch accurate. So now you can take that knowledge and know how level and how accurate your laser is. And hopefully that makes sense to you. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and move my laser level and split the difference here. This is eight feet. And now I can check to see how well that lines up. With the laser level halfway between the two points, that's the gap from the bottom of the tape to the bottom of the laser. Now I've moved it all the way to the left side and you can see where it's kind of split it. So 
it's accurate with almost just a little bit thicker than the thickness of the laser beam. So that's how you check it. Well, there you have it. Pretty simple, right? Well, I hope this empowers you to go into your next job on how confident and how accurate your laser level is. So if this video helped you out, please hit the subscribe button at the bottom and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.